Hi everyone, welcome to my homestead and welcome to you underneath the desk in my room um, where we have some newborn kittens. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like this video if you like it, and hit the notification bell. So we have a barn cat that started hanging around our house uh, last year, probably around like October or November and um, you know she was a sweet cat and we we really liked her and as it start as it started to get cold um, you know we just had compassion on her and we decided to bring her in I mean like she would always just like stay on our property and not go anywhere so uh, and, and she's a she's a beautiful cat so we brought her in and it wasn't too long before she had her first set of babies <laughs> which we had no idea and um so you know we, we just kept her in here and uh we kept three of the kittens and then the other ones like we gave one to the neighbors and um one to my brother uh, when when him and my mom came to visit from Utah and then um, anyway and then we kept three of the kittens and then we we this was probably just so stupid um, we did it because I guess there were just too many cats inside the house we already had a cat um, and and we actually let her go outside because like she was always just wanting to go outside and now she's a barn cat um, the 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 one that we had before she's a french uh chartreuse which is like this like pretty bluish gray color and then just like really stunning yellow eyes and really soft meows but like she she just always wanted to be outside so we just let her stay outside and so so we put the mom outside we put um our french chartreuse outside and they just like stay on the property and um you know it, it didn't take too long before all of a sudden the our barn cat was pregnant again <laughs> and and here we are um so uh yeah i, I don't know what we're gonna do I'm thinking that we're probably going to go ahead and just like put her back outside, but we're going to have to like get her spayed. Um, cause we can't do this anymore. You know, and we know who the father is too. He's like some other cat. He, he doesn't really come on our property, but well, he has a couple times, but he usually kind of like stays south of our house. But, yeah, we're going to have to get her spayed. And I don't, I don't know what we'll do. We'll probably, we'll probably keep a couple of these kittens. Just because, like, the kids are really attached to them. And, you know, we could do it. No big deal. We like cats. We like dogs, too. We're, we're not really cat or dog people. Well... We kind of are a little bit like we we've we love dogs, but we've had them and it just doesn't really work out too well um, in our house. So we we got rid of our dogs. Uh, although we we love them, it's just we're probably just not good as dog owners. But cats are really easy. Um, you know, if we were like living out in the country, maybe we would have dogs because they just they could just like go outside and stay on the property and stuff um gosh I see some fleas on these cats we're gonna have to do something about that but um just the way that our property is kind of set up it, it's I don't know we're, we're just not good with dogs but if we were in the country maybe we would do that and I don't know if we're always gonna stay in this this house I'd like to get more property 
and I'd like to live out in the country. I think that'd be really great. Um, we actually do have a lot of privacy here, uh, even though we're like on the edge of town. Um, you know, we're, we're we have enough land to like where we're still like far from other other houses. So, but yeah, they're, they're still young. They haven't even opened their eyes yet. And this batch is a lot more colorful than the last one. The last one, they were just all basically the, sa the same, except for like one. <laughs> they're so cute. So anyway, uh, we do enjoy having a barn cat. You know, we she's caught mice a couple times, so that's good. And they just make a good addition to the homestead. I, th I think you gotta have a barn cat. So anyway, um, I guess that's pretty much it. If you like this video, please like it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell. I'll be doing a lot more content about homesteading. Uh, we'll also talk about church, the second coming, and all sorts of stuff. So I'll talk to you next time.